Okay. I think that should be enough for now. So let's go back to the base. And see what the next plan is. Like, what are we gonna do after this? We can go 900 meters deep right now, but... What do I want to do next? Okay, how are you doing? You have two salt and one water. Perfect. Always useful. Um, you're my water supply. So I'm gonna stuff more water inside of you too. There we go. I have two of the large filled with water on me at all times. Which is great. Um... And salt will go over here. Alright, let's deposit all of this other stuff that we got. Four marble melons. And three we cut up for all the other stuff. Or only two is enough. Oh well, a little bit too much. That's why we have the trash can. Alright, so my next move. First up, I want to get some of these Reginalds in this game. Or... Let's take three in total. Um, batteries. I want my batteries. There we go. That is some of my stuff recharged. And not the laser cutter or the repair tool, but at least the others. Habitat Builder don't need right now. So you go back in here. Great. Alright. Um, no further updates on any things that I can scan by any chance. All just the same. It becomes more, doesn't it? It feels like it becomes more. There was only two options before. So, lead, limestone, metal chunks, reef bag, salt deposit, sandstone, heat area. Data box? Um... Wait, are... My scanner room might indeed be too far away from that cave to find magnetite, maybe. Data box in that direction. Um, okay, that makes me curious. Like that, either that is extra information of stuff, or it's gonna be a normal case of, oh, you already got these, you're just gonna get titanite from it. Uh, in any case, you. There we go. Perfect. Let's take a quick look at those, shall we? Oh. All systems online. Um. Okay. Uh. I'm stuck. Sort of. Uh. Note to self. <laughs> Don't be a fool when piloting your Seamoth. Uh. Okay, the water is confusing me slightly. Let's see, can we locate these data boxes? They are within... How much meters? I have no clue. 600 maybe? 700? I'm going to guess 600 or so, because that is how far the camera can go. Uh, although this is not... This is not where my camera went, I think. Oh, big wreck. Okay, well, I think we're gonna explore a big wreck in this case. Um, that's how we get in. Well then. Time to explore. If I can find a way through this place. Or... Okay, no. Um, battery charger... What was that? Okay, I unpowered my thing. That... I unpowered... Oh my god. Okay, fine. I thought I was okay in regards to all of the battery stuff. I wasn't. Okay, fine. We'll scan these. Get the titanium from it. I don't like this music. Not really. 
Okay, um, laser cutter fragments. Here we go. Give me that titanium. Picture frame? Um. Okay, I got a picture frame. Not sure what to do with that. I don't like this noise. Um. Did. Did those two knock down my sea moth? How dare you! Stop it! Okay, um. I need. I went back also for oxygen. There we go. Place a little bit to the side. There we go. Good enough. Okay. What else have we got? We got several data boxes. I hope they're going to contain something new. Uh, that's a light stick fragment. Great. Then I have to take a look at this picture frame. Okay. No upgrades in here that are usable to me. Um, you open up, please. This is a pretty big wreck, I think. At least it looks pretty big. Uh, keep an eye out for hidden passages in some areas, like the roof. And stuff. Oh, natural selection poster. I'll take it. I don't need it. Uh, plant shelf. Oh. Okay, nice. Um... Well, okay then. I'll read up on that later. Uh, this is all blocked. There's no way for me to open that door. I'm guessing. But I can open you. Let's see. Laser cutter. Always bring your trusty laser cutter with you. Alright, let's see. Do we have anything over here? We got the propulsion cannon. Yes. And over here we got our data box. I think I got it. Yeah. Wasn't sure what it was, but I got it. At least it, this gives me titanium. It's good enough for me. Is there anything else that we can do here? Uh, there was another one in here. Um, I might be going too far though. I'm gonna be running out of oxygen soon-ish. Okay, let's grab this data box. Um, vehicle up. Vehicle upgrade cons. We already have that, but I never built a vehicle upgrade station. Modif okay, we got the modification station, but a vehicle upgrade station. I never picked that up, or I never built it. Which means that it is high time for you to build one once you get back home. Your moon pool still has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Um, do you remain in place even though I already... Hmm. You might remain in place even though I already have found what's inside of it. Not sure about that. There's no way out of here. Uh, get back to the pod. Get back to the pod before we drown. Okay, so finding these data boxes might be nice, but in general, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, let's see, what did we pick up? Two blueprints for what exactly? Uh, nothing up here. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Plant shelf. Wall-mounted plant pot. Nice! That's extra decoration material. And we got a picture frame. Wall-mounted frame. Upload desired image from compatible PDA photo galleries. So wait, we can take photos and put them in the picture frames and hang them in the base. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. Okay, um... I don't think I explored everything in here. Just making sure... We went over here, through here. Once you know the way, it's easy. Um, that was a dead end. Oh, don't like that noise. Does this go any deeper? Is there anything down here? Or 
Looks like dead ends. Okay. So, this room. Was there anything else except for more titanium? Uh, battery charger, got it. Anything else? No, this just looks like a massive supply of more titanium. Okay, well, so much for that. Um, no way out of here. Time to get back to the Seamoth. Really, some of these noises do not belong to these sand sharks. Like, it sounds bigger, but it's not, because otherwise I would be hearing the screeching. Go away, dude. Please. Thank you. Okay, so there's... Those data boxes remain in place even though you found them. That's kind of bothersome. Hi. LifePod 6, we found you before, haven't we? I think... I think we did. Oh. Yeah, I don't see anything in there. I think we found you. Okay. That means there's a data box all the way hiding over here. Where are you gonna leave me? Like, there's gonna be another wreck there. Um, what's the matter, Reefback? Are you stuck? Not sure what he's doing. Anyway, data box. So I can imagine that... Okay, the further and deeper you go, the more different the blueprints possibly become. If we were to go to the other side of the map entirely and were to go and find uh, scanner room fragments and stuff uh, to build one over there and then find for more stuff, then we can find all the magnetite and whatever we want. But right now, not really. Um, where are you? Because... Dear God, you're... Wait, are you the one that I found before? Oh, these... These are the freaking jelly shroom caves. Of course they are. Okay, we'll take that. Take that. Take that. Yeah, that's the Gazi base right below us. We found that. Well then. Okay, but... If you can find... Those things. If you can find data boxes like that. In there. Then why the hell can't you find magnetites? What is my base doing? Like, this is even further then. That is 400 meters away from home base. Oh, that... That must mean it must be able to find magnetites. If it's 400 meters away, if it can find that data box, it must be able to locate magnetite. Or is that my logic just completely not working? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, um... What is that? Um... Oh, that's my window. <laughs> I could see my window from that entire distance. Okay, got it. Okay, let's see. You. Welcome aboard, Captain. Perfect. Now, I want to know. Uh, battery. I need battery because my freaking sea moth right now, or uh, sea glide, has no power. Energy. Uh, there we go. 100 power cell. Um... Did I have four batteries in here? No, only three. And three of them are full, so... You're gonna go in here. Do I need to... I'm better off changing them. Better off changing them. You equip and you go in there. Great power, 100%. Same for the repair. Eh, good enough. Okay, got a natural selection 2 poster, again. 
Not sure how useful that is going to be for me. Good enough. It's not really that homey with... Yeah, no. Okay, uh, where is my... Have that builder over here. 100% crates. What do I need for that thing? Um, interior... It's not that. Miscellaneous picture frame, no. This thing. Vehicle upgrade console. Built in the moon pool to upgrade the docked vehicles. Okay, so computer chip, a couple wire. Computer chip required... Uh, way too much stuff. Okay, all I need for the computer chip is some copper wire. Or a uh, table coral sample. Which is right over here. Hi, how are you doing? Can I get some? Thank you. And you. Nice. Okay, that should be everything right now for that thing. Not sure how much it's going to help me. Like, is that going to allow me to craft stuff for... Like, right now... I was... I found the depth module thing for the Seamoth. Randomly in the Aurora. If I were to make a second Seamoth, could I perhaps make more of those data modules in that case. Alright, there we go. Computer chip. So, that should... That should be enough for all the resources to build this thing. Got titanium, got the computer chip, got a couple of wire. Um, do I just... How... Do I... Places somewhere? What? How does this work? Built in the moon pool to upgrade Dr. Vehicles. Yeah, nice. Where do I build it? Um. What? I build over there? Um. Okay. Um. Alright, not sure. Can I also build it over here in that case? No, I need to build it. Fine, I'll build it over here. I can always remove it later. Is that a little bit too close room? Simul docked, fully charged. Wait. Submer I can change the color of my Seamoth. Uh, vehicle upgrade console use fabric oh my god this is glorious Seamoth oh I should have built this earlier I did not know this was such a big boon this is awesome Okay, I'm going to spend some time to actually make a different vehicle color thing, I think. Not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. So when I first saw this thing, I disregarded it completely. Since I was completely able to just access my upgrades right over here. Easy peasy, no problem whatsoever. I did not know it was this big of a boon. Anyway, um... I think I'm gonna stick to the sea moth name. Like I could name it something else, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what else to name. The sea moth just sounds cool. So yeah. Anyway, it's it's red, it's green, and there's a little bit of yellow on the inside because we all need a little bit of color in our life. So uh, mainly pick these colors because I think they will proved to be very useful in regards to finding the sea moth in an ocean of blue. So we should be okay, but that leaves two possible upgrades. I'm gonna stick to the sea moth depth module, no doubt. Uh, storage is also quite handy, so that leaves two possible upgrades. Now, we've got the common modules, uh, hull reinforcement, preemptively hardens the chassis before collision, eliminating damage under normal conditions. Seamoth and Prawn compatible. Uh, maybe... Like, I do bump into a lot of stuff. Let's be fair about that. 
but we also got the engine efficiency module recycles heat byproduct to minimize power inefficiencies sounds good liking it so i need computer chip and polyaniline for that uh, do i need more storage maybe but not sure because we also got let's see a solar charger not gonna happen I just don't see myself being able to use this properly because if I'm gonna go deeper, this is totally not useful to me. Now the Seamoth Perimeter Defense System creates a localized energy, uh, electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. Again, might be very useful to me. Uh, Seamoth Torpedo Systems, by the look of things, I need to craft those things, so... Vortex Torpedo general, uh, generates a localized gravity distortion, load this to a vehicle torpedo bay and a gas torpedo. Cloud of toxic gas loads the, yeah, gas pots. Are those those things that the, uh, the, the gas mask wielding things, I forgot their freaking name, gasopods. Yeah, those might be those things. So anyway, yeah. And then we have the sonar, a dedicated system for detecting and displaying topographical data on the HUD, copper wire and two magnetite. Out of all of these, I think I might actually go for the seam of perimeter defense and the seam of sonar, maybe. But I'm gonna have to take a look at what I need for that. Polyaniline, let's take a look. Polyaniline is gold and hydrochloric acid, and hydrochloric acid is salt and deep shrooms. Now, we did plant a few of those, so let's take a look. Where were they and have they grown? Yes, they have. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, let's slice up a few more of you. There we go. That should be enough. Perfect. A little bit too much, but if I... One, two, three... Just take those, no problem. No. I don't need your gas pots. I am very happy with your donation, but I don't need them. Anyway, gold. That's what we need. Let's take a look. Alright, hydrochloric acid. There we go. And then from that, we can also make the polyaniline. Uh, what else did we need? We need a wiring kit, which is two silver, and we also need magnetite and copper wire. Alright, this should be enough, I think. We get the polyaniline and the wiring kit for the seam of perimeter defense. And copper wire and magnetite for the seam of sonar. Um, I don't think I can get even more upgrades onto this thing. Like, this is it. Uh, not sure if... Can these be upgraded anyway to Cyclops upgrade? Uh, no. Okay, so that's just it. Alright, let's see. Access upgrades. We insert you and insert you. Now, how exactly does that work? Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. So, we got sonar and the perimeter defense. Um, do I... Okay. Uh... Oh. Oh. Okay, that might be fancy. So, if I were in a very... Yes, thank you. I will do that shortly. If I were to be in a very deep cave... Uh, still looking for the data boxes. I should remove that. If I were in a deep cave, I would be like... Where the hell do I need to go? I can't see anything in the dark. Sonar, help me out. And you get to see all the walls and everything. That's perfect. And this is the perimeter defense. How does that work? Okay. Can I... Um, okay. Whoa. Did it... Okay, that is powerful, and oh dear, I just killed all the fish. Okay, I really killed all the fish. Oh my god. Um, this did not happen. This did not happen. Nobody saw this. Nobody. We clear on that? Nobody killed all the fish. Nobody. So, I'm... 
I'll be very honest, I'm not sure about the perimeter defense. It might be handy, like... Okay, if one of those big reaper things tries to grab me and kill me and bite my Seamoth's face off, maybe. But that took a freaking large amount of power. And I'm not too sure about that. I'll stick with it for now, but... I don't know. I, I'll be honest, yes, it was a full charge. Yes, but... Nah, I'm not sure. Anyway, I had nothing in you. No, I had nothing. And these fish... They, they're already old and dead. Um, can I still cook those things and cure them? Or is it too late for that? No, I can still cook these and I can still cure them. Um, in that case, I'm gonna do that. I would not want to let these things go to waste. Yeah, working on it soon enough. Give me a moment. I can survive for a bit. So we now have a large amount of cured peepers, a few Reginalds, which is good enough. And there is more salt for me. Thank you. You loving it? Uh, salt goes to the food. All right, so we got the upgrades. That's good. We can explore the ocean further, which is also great. And um, the scanner room is still functional. Let me take a quick look if it maybe found something else in the meantime. Yeah, I really didn't find anything. Okay, well. Um, I need to think for a moment. Okay, I think I have a plan for what I want to do next, and that is actually uh, maybe clearing up a few of these beacons. Like, currently we got the home base and the alien vent and stuff, but uh, proposed the Gazi habitat 500 bits, that's still pretty far away. But I do remember one thing, LifePod 17, I might have missed something at the Gazi shipwreck, which was nearby. Uh, I want to clear the... Aurora Rendezvous Point on dry land. That's also... I didn't explore the full dry land. And... Do we have anything else? No. Also, I want to take a look at some of these transmissions. Like, LifePod 6, we missed something over here. I saw that in my other save file. That there was another PDA hidden there. Uh, LifePod 4, we found LifePod 7. We did not find yet. So... 200 meters deep, low ecological activity. Maybe we could try and find this too. So, uh, first things first, let's get up, get to the Seamoth, and we'll see what we have from here. Because we've recorded so far in advance, there is a high possibility that we've missed even more stuff than we realize. But hey, Hindsight is 2020, and luckily a good eye during the editing can also spot a missed thing or two.